and welcome to Yachting Monthly's How To Series, brought to you in association with GJW Direct. I'm Matthew Sheehan, and over the course of 13 episodes, we're going to be dealing with some of the key issues when it comes to maintenance and talking to some of the experts to get their tips. So we've done all our pre-departure checks, but with the best one in the world, sometimes the engine still won't start. And we're going to see there are two main probable culprits for that. The first is electrical and the second is fuel. So what we'll do now is look at how we diagnose what the problem is and how we can possibly get our engine started. To do that, let's go up to our test engine where we can get a better sight of things. Okay, so one of the most common causes of an engine not starting in the marine world is a fuel problem. Some say up to 80% of all problems are fuel related. So if that's the case, what we need to do is just start from the beginning and work your way methodically through the system. First, does your fuel tank have fuel in it? The fact that gauge is showing something doesn't necessarily mean that's the case. Gauges can be faulty. For our test engine, it's very easy to see, but just be aware, do you have fuel? Next, is the fuel shut off open or closed? If the boat's been stored for the winter or someone else has used the boat, it might well be that they've closed the fuel shut off. So let's make sure that that is open. The next thing you're going to come to is some form of pre-filter on your engine. These come in various shapes and sizes, but they all do much the same thing. They have two functions. Firstly, to remove the large bits of debris that might have come into the fuel. And secondly, to separate any water from condensation or water ingress that has come into the fuel. We have a nice glass container here so we can see sometimes they're a metal container. What you need to do, if you can't see it visually, is use the little tap that you'll always find on the bottom, drain out some of the fuel into a container and just check for whether there's any water in it. It's very obvious if there is, you can see the separation between the water and the diesel. In this instance, we can, we've got a nice glass one here. We can see it very clearly. There's no water in that fuel. The next stage in the fuel process is the fine filter. This is the last stage of filtration or protection of the engine before the fuel goes into the high pressure pump and it's here that you'll often find that you need to bleed the engine if it's run out of fuel previously. Now again, each one of these filters is slightly different, but looking in your manual, you should be able to quite easily find where the bleed point is. What we're gonna do here is open the bleed system to allow any air out of the system. We'll manually pump the fuel, and we'll see fuel coming out of here, and we'll keep going until there are no bubbles in it. So on this engine, here's our manual lift pump, and you'll see it has a little lever which allows us to pump the fuel manually into the fuel filter. So let's see how this works. Okay, so we've seen that our engine's not starting, and we suspect there might be air in the fuel. So we need to come to our bleed point of our fuel filter, Take some rag or some special oil soak that you can buy. Put it under there to keep your engine and your bilges nice and clean. Now what you need to do is open the bleed point to allow fuel to flow out the top of the filter. Then we're going to use the lift pump and start giving the pump A good going over. You can see from here. Now what we can see here as we pump it is lots of bubbles coming out and this is a sure sign that there's some air in the system. So we're going to keep pumping this until we see nice clean diesel without any bubbles in it. So we've been pumping this for a while now there's no more bubbles coming out of it, just clean fuel, so we can be really comfortable that there's no more air in the system. We're going to tighten it back up and we should be good to start the engine. Okay. 
nice and tight. Remove the rag, clean up any last drips that may have come there, give it a good clean up. And we'll see if that's helped us start the engine. The engine started really nicely this time. It was a fuel problem and we've solved it. Now, if you have suffered severe fuel contamination, maybe you have significant amounts of water in it, a lot of debris in it, or the dreaded diesel bug, there is a technique you can use, hopefully, to get you home. And that is simply to disconnect your fuel system from the tank. On our test engine here, we have the feed into the filter here. We would disconnect the hose here, and we would simply put it into a jerry can of clean fuel. That bypasses any contamination you've had and should be able to get you home until you can get proper repairs done. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that was of help. Make sure that you like us, make sure that you subscribe to us and stay in touch for the next episode.